Well, Shahana Envisions is sending 120,000 troops to Qatar today. 120,000 troops are arriving. That's a lot more boots on the ground, so the tanks are on the way. I heard the uh, tanks are on the ship and they're moving. So tanks are on the move. They are moving to Qatar. Everything is being moved. Anything and everything for an invasion force is coming in right now. So, it is not looking good for you, Iran. So, the Wall, the Wall Street Journal, the Pentagon, the White House, everybody's blaming the last ship attacks on Iran. Well, obviously, they used the limpet mine. Well, if you know anything about the limpet mine, the United States Navy does use this mine. And it's no bigger than my head, and it works great, and it usually blows between a six to a five-foot hole in the ships and that's what they experienced they all experienced five foot holes in them so they were all blown by limpet mines so iraq i'm not iraq iran has pulled the first trigger they have done it in a roundabout way they have attacked our allies they have attacked saudi arabia two of the ships that were attacked were saudi ships so saudi arabia is furious right now and they're looking at any any excuse to attack iran right now at this point um, they did get on the phone with Donald uh, J. Trump, and they discussed war plans. So along with Israel, it was pretty much a three-way conversation. They got it all figured out now, so you can guarantee that uh, Saudi Arabia will definitely be joining the fight. So so whenever uh, Salami or Rouhani, um, you know, their, their men, their troops, their army, or their, nat or their uh, revolutionary guards, as soon as they decide to pull the trigger... And do anything wrong in the slightest fucking way. Uh, Trump made it very clear today. I don't think he could have made it any clearer that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to completely obliterate your country. And every, every single Iranian is going to suffer. So, And John Bolton said unrelenting force. So that's what, that's, that was his exact words a few days ago. Unrelenting force. So they're just going to keep pounding you and pounding you and pounding you. The United States Pentagon said yesterday that they could take Iran on in three weeks. Now, I don't agree with that. You know, you'd have to be foolish to think you could take on a country like Iran in three weeks, but unless you're using fucking nukes or something like that, yeah, you could take them on in fucking three minutes if you want to do, not three weeks. But we're not, we're not going to do that. We're not going to turn them into a fucking glass parking lot. So, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you on my YouTube channel are like, I wish they would use the nukes on them. I wouldn't care if they use a nuke on their nuclear facility. I wouldn't care. Just don't do it over a high population areas and stuff. So, because these facilities are on the outskirts of town, or on the way outskirts of town, in case they ever blew. That's you know that's usually where you tend to put these things. You don't normally put them right in the middle of the fucking city. So, but your days are definitely numbered, Rohani. It's not looking so good for you. So you keep threatening the West and threatening the West. Eventually, they're just get, you're you're the you're uh, considered a terrorist according to uh, Donald Trump, and all the U.S. troops out there are considered terrorists too as well. So we both fucking hate each other. The lines have been drawn in the sand, and that's it. So we're all waiting to see who's gonna pull the first trigger. But I have a feeling it's probably gonna be the Revolutionary Guards probably today. Something's gonna happen. It's too fucking quiet right now. So. But the U.S. M1 Abrams tanks are on the move, and they are headed to Qatar right now as we speak. So may God bless you. May God bless all of our troops out there. May you fight hard. May you fight strong. And may you be very vigilant. Because I have a feeling that these fucking bombs, like I've reported in my previous videos, are all over the place. So it's going to be it's gonna be a fucking nightmare the second we enter into it. Just pray. Everybody on my channel, do a quick prayer today and just pray that the United States Marines and Army and Air Force and Navy do not invade. Because if they do invade, there will be a lot of dead. So let's pray that cooler heads prevail over there, even though we all know that Iran is nothing. That, 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 that's not even in their fucking vocabulary to uh, try to get along with anybody. So we're not going to kid ourselves and think they're going to fucking do something. But something positive i have a feeling they're gonna fucking do something bad here so but let's just try to keep iran you know what i mean try to keep russia out of iran that that's the main thing is just to keep russia away you know if they ship logistics after this war kicks off whatever fine and dandy you know 
what are you gonna do? You, what are you gonna do? You gonna tell Putin don't don't be shipping any anti tank missiles to the fuck to my fucking allies? Yeah, good luck with that. So when he has missiles like this fucking staring us down, so it's tit for tat. Who's who's gonna you know? Is this gonna be Gog and Magog? Is this gonna turn into like a Middle Eastern fucking war over there with Hamas and Hezbollah today, with the missiles rain down on them today? I don't know. You know, the attack could come over there from the Golan Heights. The Iranians could be attacking uh, Israel today from the Golan Heights. It's just, it's crazy. It's just, where is the attack going to come from? We're going to find out. It's going to come from somewhere. So something is going to happen today. I have a feeling something bad is going to happen today. So, and get this fucking thing kick-started. And if it ain't, if it ain't kick-started by probably tomorrow, the United States government will kick something up. To get it started, and they and they will do a probably a false flag. If they can't get something started soon, they they're gonna false flag this shit to make it to draw us into another war. Let's just hope that it's not that way. Let's hope it's not a false flag. So, let's hope we can just avoid war altogether. And Rouhani and Trump can sit down on the phone and try to avoid this altogether. But I don't I don't think these two are ready for any kind of form of talks. I think they're ready for war. So. Trump warned him the other day, he gave him his last warning, that, that's your warning, and they were like, I have nothing to say to you, Trump. It is war. You're in my backyard with your ships in the Hormuz Strait. It is war. He said, get your ships out of there, I'll fire dozens of fucking ballistic missiles at your ships, and the Shahab 3s at your troops in Qatar and various, various other military bases around the area. So, the Shahab 3 can hit them, so... May God bless you soldiers and may you stay safe. So, but I dare you to shoot a Shahab. You do that, it'll be war. And that'll be your death sentence, Rouhani and Salami. And that'll be the end of you. All right. Love y'all. Let's hope this war doesn't come. But if it does, it's going to be a bloodbath. We all know it. All right. Love y'all.